Good morning. Um, I just wanted to give a quick review about Apologia's Astronomy. Um, I did this curriculum with both my fifth grader and my seventh grader this past year, and it was absolutely wonderful. I can't say enough praise about this curriculum. Um, my daughter is very into space, so she picked this, um, and then my other daughter picked the Apologia Anatomy, but we have yet to start that one. Um, with the astronomy, it's very inclusive. It gives um, different um, Bible verses, and um, it kind of goes through how the earth was created by God and not just, hey, this is a star, this is a planet. Um, and then it gives you things to think about. And what's great is that it actually, as you go on, it will give you different um, activities to do. Uh, it will even give you um, experiments to do. We did a actual volcano. And um, as you can see, you can make your own um, planet, solar system. We, this this one says that you should use balloons, but we actually um, challenged ourselves and we just tried to find things around the house that we wanted to use. Um, and they each girl made their solar system and they absolutely loved it. It was a way to bring in art and the science curriculum together. Um, when you're doing the curriculum and you're doing activities towards the end of each chapter, it will actually give you all the things that you need and it will go through step by step on what you need to do to complete the assignment that it's giving you. Um, you can use those assignments, you can do those experiments, but you don't need to. Um, you can still go through each chapter and not worry about ever doing any of them if you didn't want to. Um, but I really love the way that it brings together the Bible, the verses, it brings together um, how the earth was created while you're actually doing your science curriculum. Um, my girls learned so much. I even learned so much. I was very, very surprised at how much I learned. Um, this was just a really fun curriculum that even as we were going, say our goal was, okay, well, we're going to read five pages today. It was one of those curriculums that you just wanted to keep going. Um, my girls always asked if we could, oh, just keep on reading, just keep on reading. So, um, they really enjoyed that. So I just wanted to kind of give you an idea. So when you do the Astronomy by Apologia, there are two different workbooks. The workbooks come in either a junior version or they come in a regular, um, like, older student version. And the, the workbooks come with um, crossword puzzles and um, you can jot down notes and you can do all different kinds of activities to kind of let you sink in all, all of the knowledge that you're gaining as you're reading the chapters. Um, if you wait just a minute, I'll try to get one. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, so this is the junior version. Um, it is Astronomy Junior Notebooking Journal. And as I was saying, it will give you, it kind of um, gives you daily assignments that you can do and it will tell you where to start in the chapter, where to end off. Um, we kind of didn't do it this way. Like I said, my girls were really interested in this curriculum. So we kind of just went at our own pace and kind of sped it up a little bit at times. And then other times, if we decided to take a break from it and work on something else, we did that as well. Um, but within the curriculum, it has things like um, areas to take down notes from your chapter or even make a drawing to kind of remind yourself of what you learned. Um, they did, uh, for the junior journal, there's little um, coloring pages and we did mini books where you um, write down what each thing is. There's lots of memory books, um, mini books better than this one um, throughout. There's like little spinning wheels and all kinds of different things. Um, how we see color and then again it has a pop down. It ha Like I said it has crossword puzzles and drawing and um, vocabulary words. Um, you just lift it and it tells you what it is. Um, so again, this is the Junior Journal. Um, I used it for my um, fifth grader. I think that she probably could have been in the regular 
um, notebooking journal. I don't necessarily think that she needed a junior journal, um, but she likes to challenge herself and that's, and I didn't really think about that when I had got it. I just assumed junior was for a younger child, but I'd actually used this one for, um, maybe even like first through fourth grade. Um, and then this is the regular notebooking journal. Um, it, this really, I could, I could picture kids up to maybe seventh or eighth grade using this book. Um, it's pretty much set up the same way, but it has more challenging questions. Um, it has copy work from the Bible, um, so they can work on verses that they want to do. Um, and again, this is for an older child, um, a child that can write neatly and write out a whole verse um, without any trouble at all. Um, they have matchbook work where they just write what different things are and Galileo and what NASA are and constellations, the Hubble. Um, what is a natural satellite? Things like that. Again, it has crossword puzzles, just like the old, um, the younger children's version. Um, um, it, oh, it still has things where um, using a magnifying glass, what did you do? What did you learn? Um, it does offer a bunch of different activities um, for a child to engage in the lesson. Um, so it's not just book work. It's not just let's read a text and hope that we remember it. Um, and instead of breaking it down into testing your child, um, it's doing it over and over. So you actually remember and are actually kind of embedding it in their brains. Um, and again, my girls loved it because it was it was a fun way to remember what you're doing. Um, my older daughter is in seventh grade and well she was this past year and she isn't a huge space nut um she is really about the science of anatomy and the human body and how does that work and um she even enjoyed this curriculum so that does say a lot about the type of curriculum that it is it's so inclusive they added so much to the book um to the workbook and the textbook um, to just really give you everything you can possibly think of to do with outer space. Um, it talks about the spacecraft on the moon and what an eclipse is and the phases of the moon and magnets and um, moon rocks. I mean, you think about it and it's in here. It talks about radar and um, Olympus Mons, a volcano, and that actually... Um, was the lesson that we did that we actually got to build a volcano and my girls built it they put in so much hard work and then they got to watch it erupt and that was the coolest thing that was one of their favorite things that they did all year um it was just a blast my kitchen was a mess but um it was just so fun to watch their faces light up as they did this curriculum and truly enjoyed it um so I, for one, would vote this Astronomy by Apologia one of the best curriculums that we have used for science, for sure. Um, they make a bunch of other science curriculums. They do have an Under the Sea, I don't know exactly what it's called, Marine Biology maybe. Um, they make the Anatomy one. Um, they make a general science, they make a biology. So if you are interested in getting a phenomenal science curriculum for your children, I highly, highly recommend Apologia. Um, that is it. If you have any questions, just reach out. Bye.